Alright, what's up everybody? Let's get into another Crimson Vow draft here on the channel. We open up a bomb red dragon monoform hellkite. Four four flyer for four that buffs us when we play spells. Seems like a good place to start, and there's actually a lot of red cards to wheel. So I've really liked red paired with uh, green for werewolves, and I've also liked it paired with black for vampire blood. So let's go with pointed discussion. I found that card to be extremely strong. And uh, I think it's better than taking just this, probably the worst werewolf in the set. <laughs> so... Yeah, not too much good green here. Um, Twin Blade Geist is an interesting one. And is, could be very good, but I'm just going to take the Vampire card and move on. Another vampire card here, but I think Bleed Dry is the way to go. So, if you've played any Crimson Vow in the last week or two, you would know uh, there are some bomb, bomb, bomb rares that just end the game when they're dropped. And so, if you can have instant speed exile, which is what Bleed Dry is, then you should be well set up to fight off your opponent. So, let's take Bleed Dry. And hopefully, go into Black Red Vampires. Um, I definitely want to play red. And at this point, I definitely want to play black. So, uh, we may be forcing here um, within reason, you know, but we will try to force. All right. Uh, yeah. So, this is a way to get our bomb back. And um, it's kind of a blood combo. Could definitely be good. There's also Flame Blessed Vault, which is quite good as well. But I like the idea of Edgar's Awakening, and I have not been able to use it that well yet. Um, <coughs> so hopefully in a deck that prioritizes blood, we will be. Fell Stinger is a really good one. The Voldaren Epicure is also quite good, but I think I just have to take the uncommon here. Not only is it a 3-2 death touch for 3, but it also exploits a creature to draw 2 cards uh, and lose 2 life. Quite, quite strong. If we ever have a creature with an enchantment uh, removal on it, or any sort of good to sack creatures like Epicure, then um, we can potentially draw 2 cards off the back of a creature. Uh, so, just a great card. This card sees standard play now. Uh, that's how good it is. So, we seem to be getting fed a lot of black, and I'm here for it. Uh, hopefully, we can start getting fed some red. The 
This card is just so whack. Huh? Like, what were they thinking? Unless there's some sort of synergy with exiling the top of your library, then it could be good, but uh, I'm just really far off the card. This card, however, uh, has been overperforming everybody's expectations. Uh, it's just a solid way to kind of get some value. Okay, so I love the Desperate Farmer and I love Gift of Fangs, and I really want to try this uncommon. But right now we don't have any vampires. So I'm wondering if I should just take Gift of Fangs here. And Desperate Farmer, also good. But uh, not as good as those two cards. Alright, here's our first vampire. And it's not a bad one. It's a Skulking Killer. So it is hard to get a creature alone on the battlefield. That's the hard part. But um, there's quite a lot of X2s in the format. And uh, if there is just a solo creature on the battlefield, it's, it's very easy to leverage the Skulking Killer. Uh, I found Red Black to have just an overwhelming amount of removal. And so... Um, I think you'll find that you can manipulate the board. Uh, and the festivities is actually very good. Um, a lot of X1s in the format, but I think I'm going to take Reckless Impulse. I've found this card just to be amazing. Um, really cool card draw in red. Uh, and it's a good one. I mean, you draw two cards for two. Um, there's no blue cards that would give you that effect. Now, you have to play them, but you have two turns to play them. So you can use this to dig for lands uh, in the early game because you have two turns, not just one. All right, uh, I'll take the Grizzly Ritual. Um, Cobbled Lancer is amazing. Uh, and the fact that it's still here is a crime. But uh, I don't mind Grizzly Ritual, especially in a deck that wants blood. Alright, and here's an, uh, another um, Reckless Impulse. So we're pretty good on the card draw. We've got some good removal, some good value. Never have I, I haven't felt like we've taken any bad cards so far. And uh, wow, just look at this. I mean, we'll take a two-drop here uh, over another pointed discussion. But clearly, our table is not playing black. And so hopefully we can lever to this to get in good here. Um, yeah, I'm probably not playing either of those, but they are fine cards. Um, so this is one of the best two drops in the format. We don't have any other wolves right now, but we always could. Uh, this card is quite good. It ramps you. Um, it's not hard to attack with exactly two creatures. So, uh, what about this guy? This one's really good. Draw three cards um, for three. And the downside is not that bad. Uh, and you can even cleave to avoid the downside if you would want to. So, we could take this and then just not play the red, but um, we have this Mythic Rare that I really want to play. And uh, Black Red is the Vampire deck. I've already taken a lot of blood, so uh, all in all, I think we should probably just stick to the plan. Alright, so Voldaren Estate is a kind of a Vampire card, and it's a rare. But I love the Ragged Recluse. Um, and it goes so well with blood. But I think upgrading a land slot in your deck cannot be overstated. We can pick up another Felstinger. And now we're starting to get the blood payoffs here in uh, Blood Crazed Socialite. 
There's also Gluttonous Guest, which is a blood enabler, but we already have quite a few enablers, and now we want the payoffs. Let's see. We have uh, one. Actually, we, we could we could get more enablers, too. We could get more enablers. Um, but Blood, blood Craze Socialite makes a blood herself, and it's quite strong when you're attacking uh, as opposed to the Gluttonous Guest. So I think comparing those two cards in a vacuum, I think I prefer the Gluttonous Guest. And I think I want to pick up my one specimen here because I've actually got a good amount of an exploit, um, a good amount of exploit stuff going on. So is Dreadfug, Feel, however you pronounce this, uh, Dreadfug? Is that a good card now because of all the bombs? Like, pay three mana, get rid of their bomb? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sold on it yet. I, I'm sold on point of discussion, though. Wow, those two uh, pack song pups that we saw. Alright, here's our Epicure, or we could get a Blood Fountain. Which one's better? It's I think I'm going to take the Epicure, just because I haven't played with it as much. And I do want the early exploit fodder. And I already have Edgar's Awakening to return a creature. So those are the reasons. We really need to pick up some more early creatures, and then I think we'll be pretty much set here. I feel like I've just got enough good exploit stuff going on now that the specimens are good enough to play. I think I've got four exploit cards. So I want two things that I can freely use them on. And then this guy is kind of like another one. the blood comes the blood is just flowing here so I think we're in a good spot I think uh, saw a lot of wolves as well
call. Sorry, I had a work call. Um, yeah, so bleed dry over a good two drop was a rough pick, but I just really needed that extra bleed dry. Um, we passed up a flame blessed bolt for um, like another card, Arch Ghoul maybe. Uh, Arch Ghoul seems pretty good. We actually have a lot of zombies. Um, here we have another suitor. Which can ramp us into something good. So that's an interesting one. Then there is just another socialite. Hypnotist. Um, I haven't played with the suitors yet, so I'm going to try it out. I think that maybe Markov Retribution isn't good enough, but... Seems decent. Wow, Investigator's Journal and Doom Dissenter. Yeah. Just gonna take the rare. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the rare. I don't know. It seems actually kind of bad. Oh, this was a perfect pickup for me. Yeah. It's all coming together now. the guest better than the scavenger? I don't think so. Scavenger's dope. Alright. We've got quite the choices here. Maybe we should have gone blue-black uh, exploit when we saw that uh, centaur sitting there. But I was so hung up on the uh, mythic rare that I really didn't want to. Wait, didn't I get a ragged recluse earlier? I thought I had another Ragged Recluse. Oh well. I think the journal's bad. Um, the zombie guy's fine, but we're just doing other cool stuff at this point. We've only got seven vampires. We've got six zombies. So, only play the good vampires? This one's not that good. I actually don't like Edgar's Awakening in this deck, but because we skipped on the Blood Fountains, I'm going to keep it, but I actually think Blood Fountain is better than this card. So we actually, we have enough card draw, maybe I just ditch it.
16 lands, and then one more cut. We got 16 creatures. We really want to be exploiting. I'm not that sold on uh, Luring Suitor, but I'd like to try it. Skulking Killer also seems potentially like medium if I'm not able to leverage the only creature thing. And then end the festivities while good is kind of like, you know, pretty medium. So let's get rid of that. Let's try this out. anything cool to name it because it really is just a pile. It's just a pile of good cards. So we're up against another vampire deck with a better two drop. <laughs> Our Voldaren estate actually makes mana, or makes blood, really cheap right now too. Let's try this out. We attack with exactly two creatures, we flip both of these guys, and then we should have a lot of mana here. We could deal an extra four damage, uh, but I think dropping the blood guys will be better. Alright, <laughs> why don't you uh, deal with that opponent? That was a sweet turn.
he bled my guy dry, huh? Well, I can do it right back to you, baby. Let's go. <laughs> we win our first game with a sweet draw off the top. That was quite interesting. Sure, this is a cool hand. Give to Fangs on that thing. It's a vampire. Don't make that mistake. But you can give to Fangs that thing. So that'll probably be the move. Do we want to impulse or do we want to celebrate? Impulse seems pretty good if we can hit a land, so let's try to do it. Wow. Hey, at least we get those things out of the way so we can start hitting our lands. Alright, so Palstinger. Ah, uh, we should have attacked with the Arch Goal first. I'm gonna have to decline, I think. Oop, that was dumb. I should have gotten rid of the life linker. That's good rare. And we made a bit of a mistake with the life linker guy, hopefully doesn't come back to bite us. I think now we just drop our guys. Do we start hurting ourselves? Do we play out another creature first?
Let's hurt ourselves, shall we? <laughs> No, I think uh I think playing the socialite was the better play. But that's all right. So, they've got a flyer. They do have an enchantment coming up. So, it looks like this is our time to bleed dry. Cool land for us. Yep, that shouldn't have happened. Okay, so we attack all, nah, we could attack now. But we can wait one more turn. going all in here. We'll get rid of these. Gonna just grizzly ritual this thing. not it's dealing a lot of damage to me
of a piercing light. This is a problem. I guess I get rid of this skulking killer, huh? blocks and saves me for a turn but then I might still be dead because he'll go to 12 I can hit back for 9 oh no if I pump the dancer I think I can get him assuming he does nothing okay this doesn't change anything So, activates lifelink. Alright, assuming he has nothing else. Or no, he's going to gain an extra life, right? Good enough. I have another bleed dry in the deck somewhere. Sucks. There it was. Two more cards. Wow. Not sure what I could have done there differently, but that feels like a game that I could have won. Exiling the life linker could have made a difference, yeah. Yeah, because that was like two points or so of life. Sweet. answer. I can flip the Ragged Recluse and then hit him with the Dire Scavenger to break the window. Damn. I forgot it's at the end step.
Alright, well, Felstinger and Scavenger should be able to do something. Do I exile my own little guy to do this? I'm sorry? He was dealt four damage? Hello? Ah, uh, it's, it's not damage, it's life loss. Cool. Love that. But I guess that's my fault. It's not damage, it's life loss. I played myself. Alright, come on, opponent. Go ahead and pass with your opt or whatever you got. Is my game frozen? Why is it not going to time? I swear, magic has been so buggy lately. Yeah, come on. I'm using my time out here to do nothing. So the suitor is kind of cool, actually, because I can flip it next turn if I attack with my two guys. So that's what I'm going to try to do. just destroy his planeswalker. just destroy this and then attack down the planeswalker we could have killed the window but I think getting rid of Chandra is worth leaving the window out for one more turn boom baby no card draw for you 
And exiled, so no wretched throng for you either. Man, that was brutal. And he gives up. Alright, bro. Sorry, dude. Couldn't draw your lands, I guess. We certainly drew ours. And then some. That was a sweet game. We're two and one. Let's keep up the good work. Decent starting hand. We've got a one drop, a three drop, a four. We've got four lands. One of the lands is our rare land that we can use for card value. So the only thing that could make this better is drawing a two drop off the top here. That's all right. You could argue play the Alluring Suitor because of the ramp. However, I don't need the ramp. I only have a 4 drop next turn and I have a 4 in my hand. Uh, so it's likely that I won't need it. And even if I do, I can still drop it and then play it. Alright. Definitely don't want to just give away the Arc Ghoul, so I think we just play our 3 drop and chill. We could have played this Scavenger, but I do want to get the life drain off it if possible, and creatures will die eventually. The difference between the two threes is not that big. Alright. So, here we get to... Uh, Bleed out Angie. We traded a 3-2 for a 2-1 in order to um, essentially draw a card or digit card and flip our other guy into a better 3-3. that. We'll get in with the Dancer this one last time. Or trade for that creature, which is really strong, so we're happy we did that. And now we just wait for our 
um, card draw effects to come in. start making blood make blood for five and then pay the one to sack it and ditch the swamp sure I don't know why I would automatically tap my uh, special land though. He bled dry a skeleton. Oh my god. Um. No, I, I'm cool. I'm keeping my guy. I have the card draw locked down eventually. So I'd rather be blocking his next threats in case I don't draw anything good. And that is a good one to block for sure. It'll be a good one to uh, destroy before he gets any value off of it actually. Could have attacked there. We'll hold the land for blood shenanigans and we'll impulse next turn. Ouch, that is a lot of blood. And a lot of damage coming my way. Can certainly scavenge. And then we have two turns to play these cards, so I think I am going to get it out of the way. We have enough mana to play them. Yeah, but I think I'm going to play the Swamp too. We'll, we'll have plenty of cards after we drop those two spells. It is going to hurt us though. If the opponent has another removal spell here, we could be in trouble. Hopefully they spend their turn digging with blood. Ah, uh, that sucks, but... 
We'll play the best of the two spells. We could actually play pointed discussion and hit the opponent for three in the air. Let's do that. Could draw something good here. The uh, deal two damage. Yep. All right. Sweet. That could be the difference. We can use that to block. We can use that to block. Oh, this will be sick. is he's going to use the epicure we really want to use it on the epicure but he's going to tap the epicure for the hearse this is a really tough one okay well that's what we're going to use it on instead So we get paid off for waiting. If he goes all out to try and kill us, we use it as a surprise blocker. If he doesn't, then we use it as the game winning play. No flying blockers here. Sure. We're not dead. That does matter. can't attack with the dragon and he's just gonna drain me again oh that's game it was a good game but gaining life really screwed us over but oh well on to the next one Two and two. I think the deck can do better than that. But I do think we probably just should have been a exploit deck. Instead of being black red, we could have been like black blue or black green value. Um, no, I probably shouldn't.
Okay. I guess. I guess we're losing this one. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. Uh, let's just play another one of these guys. We need to get rid of the lumber knot immediately. Okay. We could get rid of it. But we're actually doing pretty good at stopping it right now. So why don't we just drop our five play? Okay, that's over with. We actually do 13. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Another lumber knot. Wow. Okay, I guess we're jumping 13. be kind of reckless to reckless for land, wouldn't it? Naturally, it makes me want to do it. Let's go. We don't get any. Exiles. attack here and then we bleed dry now Flip our recluse. So we'll get rid of that, I guess. That's a good one. And then this will just threaten the trade and we
They can actually take 13. I don't know. This is a risky way of playing. We could have just bleed dry the lumber knot. We could have also just bleed dry the phalanx. Um, it was a bit greedy to attack, but I like that the opponent's life total is so low now. Uh, and we drew that grizzly ritual, so if we draw a land off the top, then we can just grizzly ritual on the phalanx. We can take 13 here, if we have to. Okay. And they don't attack. We'll get rid of their basically only thread here, and then we'll attack in. An opponent is pl pretty close to uh, being doomed here. And getting closer by the minute. Ever so closer. All right, here we are. And here it is. Sweet. On to the next one. We are three and two. I would like to make it to four and two. Let's go. It's been five games. How do we like the deck so far? Um, I wish I'd picked up a blood fountain. I think I would put one of those in. Over maybe impulse or one of the discussions. This card so far hasn't really p paid off uh, for forcing me into red. So when we draw our other mana here, we'll just drop our dragon. Otherwise, if we don't, we can get five and play Celebrants, perhaps. Maybe Sigarda's punishment for this uh, uh, suitor. But we can still flip it later. Alright, so hopefully we have a land on the top. Ah, that's about the next best thing. No attacks yet. Alright, let's just be man efficient here and drop our big 4-4 four four menace beater.
So now opponents got their second color, which was black. All right. So should we, we should be in for a good, long, spicy game here. He was looking at our graveyard. So maybe he's got a Diagraph Scavenger. Using the Scavenger on the infantry is going to be a key value play. So maybe we make that play next turn when we uh, flip our guy. And we'll have 7 mana. So we can do Arch Ghoul and Scavenger. Or no, we can't. We can do Arch Ghoul and Dragon. But then we would allow him a turn to get the infantry. Okay. Man, this is interesting. So. I'm tempted just to drop the dragon. I'm also tempted to impulse for more lands. Alright. So here we clearly drop the dragon and then next turn we can point in discussion and attack for seven in the air. He will likely have a removal spell, but that's all right. And then we will point a discussion, draw a land off of that, and play one of our other spells the following turn, and we'll be set up very nicely. Opponent discards Falcon Wrath, Forebear, a 3 1 that can't block, and he can sack two bloods to return it to the battlefield. Cool. So maybe that's something that we can uh, get with the scavenger. Because if he lets me untap with my dragon, I'm just going to get the value out of him. Maybe I'll even play my uh, bleed dry if I drew a swamp off the top. Just to deal four more damage in the air. And mountain off the top. Swamp. We should probably just go for it. We ended out on top with that exchange, and opponent gives up. Okay. We're four and two. Let's go. This hand is cool. We can try and uh, skulking killer them, and if we can, then we should be winning. This is probably.
probably the best of my two drop options to attack with. here and then hopefully draw a mountain or swamp we don't still could be a good time to uh, Make a play. Yep, sweet. Actually, skulking killer on the zombie? That'll be amazing. Wow, what a turn. Deadly Dancer is so good. Opponent just gives up. I mean, I get it, you only had two lands, like, it sucks. But man. We really, really trounced them. We are five and two with our sweet little pile. I'm uh, happy with it. I think I'm happy with it. Um, we didn't go too hard on the vampire thing. We make a lot of blood. Alright, this isn't the greatest, but if we draw one of our low mana plays, we could be happy. But I wouldn't ever throw away a hand that's just got playable cards in both your colors. So we don't uh, gift of fangs here because that is a vampire. Can gift that, and maybe we should, even though it delays our uh, Felstinger one more turn. But our Felstinger really isn't blocking that well anyway, and I don't want opponent to get the mana advantage. So I'm going to go for it. What is happening? It's magic breaking again. Come on. This is getting a little ridiculous. If we pass the turn without playing a spell there, that's probably just game. felt like we clicked on the guy and I don't know there shouldn't have been any sort of problem with that but yeah I think we messed up
Cool. Okay. It went through. It went through. That is good. So, let's just get this guy out on the field and uh, get our life total back up. Use all of our mana. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it going through there. This braid is trouble for us, though. We really need to uh, stem the tide here, so I think I'm just gonna not exploit and uh, keep out a 3 2. Yeah, that's a good one. So essentially my 2-1 is just going to die next turn. So then let's play this and exploit it. Draw our cards. And we'll just play another blocker. Next turn, play another blocker, and then hopefully we'll have stem the tide, and then we just have to deal with this ballista watcher. We need to find some kind of way to gain life, like our desperate, uh, what is it, the, the witch card. Okay, yep. No question. Play the value game. Let's play the value game. This point in discussion is going to hurt, but. Oh no. So that deals three to me when I fight it. Battle Pack Avenger. Whenever opponent you control is dealt damage. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's gotta die, huh? Okay, sweet. Probably just do it now before any shenanigans can happen. And then we'll keep back our blockers because we are at 5 health. That's a good one. Specimen ain't bad.
cards for you. Interesting choices to get back, but I'm here for it. That really sucks because we really wanted to uh, use our Skulking Killer. So I think we should attack here. Just play out our vampires. Because we're actually kind of in a weirdly cool spot. too. Uh, that might be a little too much. We can kill the specimen, so we have to keep that in mind. I think we'll just attack like this. And then we'll definitely sack of blood. Just takes the damage. Okay. We didn't get to flip the ragged recluse, but I think that's all right. Assuming we don't just die here to some sort of burn. He should sack some blood, get rid of some of his resources. Ballista Watcher can kill my Ragged Recluse for free. Interesting. So is he going for the win here? going on here? Gives up. Okay. We're six and two. Time to fight the final boss. We have no lives left, but I'm feeling good. We are on a hot streak after going two and two earlier in the video. Here goes the last game, win or lose. I hope you enjoyed the ride. If you did, uh, I certainly did. Make sure to give us a like and subscribe for more Magic Limited content.
seems worth it, especially against blue black exploit. Because that was two exploit triggers that he could have had, and now he doesn't have. Play another alluring suitor and end my turn. Opponent will return it to our hand, that's what I thought was going to happen. So I didn't want to show him this just yet. Hopefully he plays into it. He doesn't. Let's go ahead and attack. Always, t you should almost always attack first. And let's try and flip some suitors, huh? So, we'll go ahead and attack. This will become a zero. Exploit getting an island out of their hand. Woohoo! Plenty more exploit where that came from. We definitely should have uh, used the ability to get in for two more. But that's alright. Okay. We'll start holding in a mountain because we are playing against black. You never know when the opponent's going to have some discard effects. Alright, so let's see what we can find here. I want to get rid of the opponent's last card, but I'd also like to neuter the Diagraph Scavenger. Which is pretty brutal to do. I 
then we'll just do this. And we have a bleed dry, so really, no matter what his last card is, we should be okay. So... Actually, if we go for the bleed dry here, we could have lethal. exploit now then he can't use his blood until the start of his turn which is going to be pretty bad for him oh wow we actually got rid of something good sweet and if he kills any of our zombies we get the arch ghoul thraven ability so assuming he doesn't get an amazing bomb here That's a good one. But it's not good enough. Alright. We beat the final boss, everybody. Let's go. Alright, that was a roller coaster ride, a lot of fun, huge comeback victory. I really appreciated it and I had um I just can't thank you enough. If you've stayed to the end of the video, you really are one of the real ones. Uh so go ahead and comment and let me know that you stayed to the end and um I'll send you a private message we can like hang out sometime maybe or uh you know, do some drafts. Otherwise, uh Thank you so much for your continued support of the channel, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Peace out.